Pisces! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, August 25th to the 31st. Pisces, I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you for being patient. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session and then I go ahead and get into the reading. So for my meditative session, it's energy that is, excuse me, my coffee, that is in and around you. So it's energy that's coming directly from you or someone you're energetically connecting to or someone in your energy field. So please be mindful of that, okay? So take it as it resonates. It could be vice versa because it's energy, it's fluid, it's not fixed, it's not linear. Can't just, you know, hold on to energy, right? Um, so Pisces, I picked up on some interesting stuff. I heard she knows. I heard she knows. And I felt this burst of excitement. Excitement, definitely excitement, but it feels like it's ignited, it's catalyzed, it's a trigger. Something triggered this excitement. It almost feels like fireball energy, to be honest with you. Like something moving fast, quick, heated, hot, passionate. Um, I do feel like it's regarding like definite movement, like definitely movement of some kind. Someone's excited to make some moves and to make these moves quickly. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Pisces, I have to be honest, I do feel like it's more so someone connected to you, but keep in mind, it could be vice versa, it could be energy attached to you, it feels very sacral based, very, very sacral based, um, y'all know what that means, very sexual, very, very sexual, I did also see wine bottles, so if you're going out on a date with someone, or someone's really pressuring you to go on a date, um, just keep in mind that it could be more sex based than anything else, and if you want to have fun like that, you're an adult, make your own decisions, of course, make your own choices there. Um, but Pisces, I actually, for you, I was seeing a lot of pools, like a lot of pools of water. So you guys could be going to the spa, the hot springs. Um, but it's this energy of rejuvenation, Pisces. And I love that for you guys. I feel like you guys are doing a lot of cleansing or trying to do a lot of cleansing during this time. A lot of detoxing as well. Some purging of emotional shit, maybe. Um, but it's like you're just ba bathing, bathing, basking in water energy, in your own energy. And it's very, very healthy for you. It feels really positive. It feels really good, Pisces. So I'm really curious to see what else we got going on here. Oh. Why am I seeing math? <laughs> why am I saying math um some of you guys could be students or like budgeting some of you guys could be budgeting your finances right now like maybe getting ready for the holidays like how am I going to afford this and that for people some of you guys could be budgeting for the holidays or like a trip I did I did just hear trip to maybe like maybe it's for budgeting a, like a trip for the holidays like to see your family or friends or whatnot but mm, I almost have this energy where it's like someone's like looking at a situation and like trying to calculate shit like this happened that happened that happened like taking all the facts and it's like that doesn't add up that doesn't add up there's only one way this makes sense there's only one way this this makes sense there's only one way this way this makes sense yeah it's like this is interesting someone's like rehashing a situation or a turn of events and it's like there's only one way this makes sense there's only one way this adds up Oh, it's funny they showed me that in math form. Some of you definitely are working on your finances. Some of you are definitely working on your finances. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your reading here. So for those who are new to my channel, keep in mind that these are very general readings. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. That's how I set the intention before I start recording. That's how I set my intention when I meditate for messages to come through for those who really need to hear them. So keep in mind that not all these messages are for everyone. I will get multiple messages. I usually get multiple messages. Oh, sorry. Itchy nose. <laughs> Just channeling. <laughs> My nose gets really itchy when I channel sometimes. Um, oh. So just keep that in mind that not all these messages may be for you. If it's not resonating, that's okay. It's just not your week. It's just not your week. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> there are plenty of readers. Oh, that was where My camera freaked out. There are plenty of readers here on YouTube um, that are fabulous. Please, by all means, check them out if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Keep in mind, like I said, because we're working with energy that these messages can be reversed. So if it's resonating, but it's reversed, just reverse the rules. Um, it will still be resonating if it's actually resonating, right? Um, also, guys, uh, keep in mind that the gender of the cards does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy, so don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, um, along with the sign energy that I'm calling out. When I call out zodiac signs, it's just for informative purposes and energy that's being harnessed. We can harness any energy of any sign we want to um regardless of what's in our chart so just know that as we get into it also guys when i do channel i do have to talk fast i saw some comments on the scorpio video um messages when they come in guys when my workers channel they come in really fast 
They come in really fast, really, really quickly. And so a lot of times you'll see light, light workers speaking really fast with the messages they're getting because they need to get them out. Because <laughs> they need to get them out because they're coming in so fast. So just keep that in mind. And if you have to rewind, you have to rewind and that's okay. All right. Okay, Pisces. I heard Libra. I just heard Libra. Let's go ahead and get started. Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until August 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until August 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until August 31st? Hmm. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st? They're telling me she knows again. She knows, she knows, she knows. Why are they saying that? It's like really bothering me. She knows, she knows, she knows. Someone might be freaking out, Pisces, that you may be aware of something. I mean, you're Pisces. You're very intuitive. You're very intuitive. And Neptune's still retrograding in Pisces right now. Um, yeah, I feel like someone's panicking. It's almost like they're, oh, jeez. Oh, sorry. It's almost like they're saying that over and over and over to themselves. She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows. Any messages for Pisces? That's a lot. That's a lot. Nope, not taking those. That's a lot. Any messages for Pisces <laughs> regarding love from now until the 30th? Oh my God, they want to talk so bad. They want to talk, but they're giving me too many. Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now? Oh, there we go. Oh, hoo, 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 Pisces. Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. I like this energy, though. I like this energy. Nine of cups at the bottom. Yeah, I'm like, okay, catalyst. Catalyst, catalyst, catalyst. Pisces, you are someone that you were dealing with. Were deal you are someone that you were dealing with. Interesting. That was very clear. Were dealing with. Were. Were dealing with. Um, Kind of was going through a bit of a battle. Okay. Going through a little bit of a battle. Um, I do feel like there's a catalyst energy involved in this. Someone met a catalyst. Someone definitely met a catalyst. It's like they're that's coming in so clear. Whether it was you or this person. And they're saying very clearly this is someone you were dealing with. Were dealing with. Definitely no longer dealing with. This person has gone through some shit. A bit of a battle. But they've been almost like propelled out of a toxic scenario or toxic energy so it's addictions I really feel oh god I feel this person met, met a catalyst or met someone some kind of like divine intervention meeting serendipitous meeting and it like it like yeah it propelled this person propelled this person out of a toxic situation or toxic energy wow okay let's keep it going any messages for Pisces you guys are asking me if it's you. <laughs> Sorry, what? You guys are talking to me. You guys are asking me if you're the catalyst. I'm inclined to say no. We'll see what other cards come out here, but I feel like you weren't. I feel like you weren't the catalyst here. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st? Let's see here. Oh my, oh my, lots of cards here. So we have Seven of Wands in a verse, Leo energy, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Nice, okay, Six of Pentacles in a verse, Taurian energy. Ooh. Nine of Swords in a verse, Gemini energy with the Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles in a verse. Not loving this energy, guys. I'm not loving this energy. It's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's how it feels. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Someone's letting down their defenses. With coming out of this energy, someone's letting down their defenses. But it's, it's totally after sabotaging an opportunity. Try, try again. Try, try again. So... Whoever this person is, Pisces, this is so interesting. Pisces, I feel like you're off doing your own thing, rejuvenating, healing, purging, cleansing, detoxing, sitting in water. It's like you're in a lot of water energy. And I feel like you're just, you're, you're working on you and you're in a really nice place here. You feel very separate from this person, but they're dominating your reading. 
They're dominating your reading. And there's a missed opportunity that I feel like happened already here. But the Seven of Swords, that tells me that it's like sabotaging it, honestly. Sabotaging it. And with this energy of the Nine of Swords in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands in reverse, someone's working on getting out of these feelings. Someone's working on getting out of these feelings of tor I'm hearing torture. Oh, my nose. Oh. Getting out of these feelings of mental torture and imbalance. Someone has had a lot of self-sabotaging behavior, like almost like self-inflicting. Feels a little masochistic, I gotta be honest. Someone who'd rather hurt themselves. So what, no, not rather, they were, they just were. Someone who was in um, energy of really hurting themselves, hurting themselves and actively missing opportunities. But with the seven of wands in reverse, it's like being vul being vulnerable enough to acknowledge that with the eight of pentacles and to look at that, to analyze that, to figure that shit out. I gotta be honest, guys, this was a little bit like an addict's energy. Like doing things that are just so not in your best interest, doing things that are so not in your best interest. And again, sabotaging stability, sabotaging stability and opportunities here attached to a devil energy that they're being propelled out of. Thank you. That's the word propelled out of. And finally being vulnerable enough to actually acknowledge that and look at that and, and really try to figure that out, right? Eight of Pentacles is like a, it's a research card. It's a student card. I'm sorry, I was saying this and you guys might be students. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a research card. It's a student card. It's a study card. It's taking something, looking at it, trying to figure it out and putting the work in to figure it out, right? To make sense of it. But Seven of Wands in a verse tells me that they were afraid to. They weren't looking at this before and now they are. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is there going on here. <clears throat> Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st? All right. Now we have, oh, very nice. Four of Pentacles in a verse. Capricorn energy. Release. Letting it go. Letting it go. I love that. Just letting it go. Not holding on to things that don't serve you, right? Not holding on to things that don't serve. I feel like someone does not like change here. <laughs> Someone's got a really big problem with change. Um, change, the new. Um, I think that's what, okay, that's why I think I'm feeling such addict energy, such addict behavior. Can't deal when things don't go a certain way, when things don't go as planned, when things don't, when, when things just change, when like the game changes up on you unexpectedly. Like someone can't deal with that. Someone doesn't know how to cope with that. So they grip. So usually what their coping mechanism is, they, they grip. They grip as hard as they can. They grip onto anything they possibly still can. But for a lot of these people, I'm picking up on like an energy of, of like, honestly, just going to addictions because of that. Because that's something that that's reliable. Their addiction is reliable. Whatever their addiction is. Addictions come in all flavors, guys. But they're releasing that. They're releasing that, which is really nice. I like seeing that. Overall energy, we do have Empress in Reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. And then underneath that, we do have Judgment Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Then we've got that six of swords, Aquarian energy. So Pisces, I feel like this is you coming across in your partner's reading here with the six of swords and the judgment, even though you're in reverse. I mean, it just tells me that you're not really giving energy here. Like I said, it's like someone that you were dealing with, someone that you're not really actively engaged with at the moment. Um, yeah, you have your back turned to the situation. You definitely have your back turned to the situation. I feel like you you feel that there is no growth that can happen between the two of you if this person were to ever come back. I don't think you're thinking about them. Pisces, I gotta be honest. I don't think you're thinking about this person whatsoever. You're at peace with that six of swords and judgment. You're at peace. You're very much at peace. But a judgment's being called. They're making a judgment call. You're at peace already, Pisces. And for those that aren't, you're finding it. And for those that aren't, you're definitely finding it. Yeah, I don't think you spend much time thinking about this person, Pisces, whoever they are. Definitely don't think you spend much time thinking about them. Um, while you have your peace and you have your stability, 
and you're focusing on you and like I said that reju like rejuvenating energy of all that water energy right that cleansing energy that a lot of you guys are in during this time this person is almost trying to do that almost like trying to emulate you a little bit here by letting go of this by letting go and facing basically this self inflict like self inflicting behavior of just like bad behavior interesting okay but I feel like there's a catalyst here that got this person to do it. And I don't think it was you, Pisces. I gotta be honest. I don't think it was you. I think it was someone this person met. Almost feels very brief. Like, it could be a counselor. It could honestly be a therapist. We'll pull cards and a therapist. Excuse me. We'll pull cards and see what comes out here. Um, yeah, but for some, it could have just been quite literally, like, spirit intervened. It's like, here, here's someone to get you into shape. And they could have only known this person for a short amount of time. It does, yeah... Whoever this person is, it feels like it was a very short amount of time, Pisces. Very short amount of time that this person was engaged with whoever this is that you were dealing with in the past. But let's look at the devil in reverse. Let's look at the devil in reverse and see what's going on there. Let me use right away to clarify. So I have the devil in reverse. They're telling me she knows again. So I have the devil in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st. So I have the devil in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st. So I have the devil in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st. So I have the devil in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st. Time about the devil in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st. Getting a little bit of a codependent vibe. I'm not surprised because I was picking up on that um, addiction energy, but this, this codependency I'm picking up on, oh, very nice. Temperance, Sag energy. This is balancing things out. What did I say? A little bit of divine intervention, a catalyst. This is my divine intervention card. This is my fix it angel who comes in to fix shit because things are not going as they should. <laughs> or things have gotten so out of hand that it's like, okay, they need a little help. <laughs> I freaking love that. Yeah, there's a catalyst here for whoever this person is for you, Pisces, the person that you were dealing with. I, like I said, I was picking up on that codependent energy as well, um, especially with the six of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting a little bit of like neediness. A little bit of neediness here of like constant self, uh, constant soothing. Yeah, like someone needs co almost like constant attention. Like someone's not really content within themselves. So they kind of seek it out from other people. Like gimme, 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 gimme. Please gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you, gimme. <laughs> you know, a little bit like that. A little bit like that. Um, unfortunately, people who are like that don't really tend to have long-standing relationships unless the other person is codependent within their own right. And I feel like that's led to sabotaging stability here. For those in that group, whoever this this codependent energy is, I feel a little bit of enable, enabling there, like from people around them who are just as codependent. But anyway, so double in reverse, Pisces, whoever this was with, whoever this was to you, it, very clear, was, were, definitely someone you don't even really think about that much anymore. Um, they've met a catalyst. They've met a catalyst here to propel them out of this devil energy. Tell me more about the devil in reverse. Definitely feels very short-lived, whoever this catalyst was. Yes, was. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think the catalyst is around anymore. Interesting. Now we have high priestess in reverse. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. This is intense. For the devil in reverse, you've got two major, major hard, hard, heavy hitter, major arcana cards here, both about some major divinity, okay? High Priestess in reverse, this is knowing. This is knowing. Pisces, you know something's been up with this person. That's what they kept telling me she knows. She knows. Um, I know I've got some male Pisceans watching me. If you're in feminine energy, that could also pertain to you, okay? You know this person has been climbing out of their hole, their whole, that devil energy, that toxicity, codependency, addictions, you know. They're self 
self-inflicting ways. I'm like, self-inflicting doesn't feel like the right way to say that, but that's how it's coming out, self-inflicting. You know, you know there's been a shift. That's what it is. You know there's been a shift. You know there's been a change in this person, but it's someone you haven't thought about in a long time. Thoughts of them might still be, might start creeping up on you. And you might be like, why am I thinking about that person? Why are they coming to my, my, my mind? Because there's been a shift in them and you can feel it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Tell me more about the devil in reverse. Tell me more about the devil in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Tell me about the devil in reverse. Tell me about the devil in reverse for Pisces. Pisces. Whoa, the moon just popped out. Okay. All I saw were three cards. I'll show you what I saw at first. All I saw was this, the two of wands, the five of pentacles and the four of wands. And then the moon went bloop. <laughs> like, ha ha, ta da. Um, Pisces, I gotta be honest, this person, this person might have found themselves in a bit of a toxic relationship. Okay. Okay. But like I said, it's someone from your past. It's someone that you don't deal with anymore. And even to your surprise, you're like, why all of a sudden are they on my mind? Why all of a sudden am I thinking about them? You know, this is not going to be for everybody, like I said in the beginning of the video. So just take it as it resonates. But yeah, Pisces, I definitely feel like this person found themselves in a toxic environment, a toxic relationship, environment at the very least, um, that really enabled their behaviors, like enabled their addictions, enabled their codependency, enabled their self-inflicting. It's like, it's not self inflict Like, why do I... It wants to come out as self-inflicting. I know there's another word there that I'm missing, but self-inflicting, you know, bad behaviors. But you know there's been a shift, which is why, like I said, you guys have been thinking about them. And then we've got this energy. Two of Wands, Aries energy, the Moon, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader, Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and then the Four of Wands, Aries energy. This Moon energy is about a secret. This is about something that you haven't been aware of. You haven't been aware, Pisces, that they have been in a relationship with that Five of Pentacles energy. Or again, environment can also just be environment. Doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship. I do feel for a lot of them, though. It's a toxic relationship where they've been lacking a lot it's been a very uh, i hate to use the word poor but that's the word that they're giving me like a poor relationship it's been lacking in love it's been lacking in stability this person's been very much isolated in this toxic environment or toxic relationship and you haven't been aware of that that's been a secret that's been quite a secret i'm also getting this feeling of just longing to pisces i feel like this person even if you haven't been thinking about them until recently they've been thinking about you they've been missing you in an environment or relationship that's toxic and missing you quite a bit. Missing you quite a bit. And with that two of wands, they're making a decision. They're making a decision to get out of it. Making a decision to get out of it. Overall energy for the devil in reverse. Ace of swords in reverse. And then we have, wow, seven of wands. Ooh, Leo energy. This is amazing. This is them putting up a fight. Pisces I gotta be I gotta be honest like I wasn't in love with this person in the beginning and now I'm like I'm kind of liking this person there it's like they've had some major little transformation happen here it's like putting their shit into gear right doing the things that are healthy for them doing the things that are best for them and with the seven of wands and the ace of swords in a verse like this is fighting the bullshit Fighting against the bullshit, fighting against the like the illusion of what they've been living in, the illusion of that toxic devil energy. They're fighting that. They're fighting that. I like it. I really like it. Okay. So that being said, we've got this whole energy, right? Of them being forced to face it, them being forced to work on it, analyze it, figure this shit out on what to do here um, and being very vulnerable in the process of that. And with the Seven of Swords and Ace of Pentacles in a verse, I feel a big opportunity was missed. It's a theme. It's definitely a theme for this person. But there was a big opportunity missed here. So let's look at the Ace of Pentacles in a verse and see what that is. And use Gilded Tarot to clarify. I mean, honestly, Pisces, it feels like the big opportunity missed was with you. But let's see what else we get here. Could be something else. Play with the Ace of Pentacles in a verse for Pisces. Play with the Ace of Pentacles in a verse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st it could also be honestly guys for 
Um, some of you, this could just be a realization that some toxic energy, toxic behaviors um, that this person has has sabotaged their work opportunities because we do have a lot of pentacles here um, and has sabotaged their financial situation. Could also be a realization of that. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces regarding love from now until the 31st. They definitely met a catalyst, though, for sure. For sure. It feels so strong. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. <laughs> Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. Again, trying to break away from the trying to trying to break away from that toxic shit. Whatever big opportunity was missed, it's almost like it had to be missed. It had to be missed because they were still fighting this energy. Yeah, because they were still fighting this toxic environment or toxic relationship or their own toxic behaviors. Let's see here. Two of Wands, Aries energy. Yeah. Try you get, yeah. This is them trying to break away from the devil. Break away from the devil. They miss this big opportunity. They have a history of doing this. They have a history of sabotaging big opportunities. But there's one like that's screaming at me. Um, can't pinpoint what it is, but they couldn't really go for it anyway because they were actively trying to break away from this devil energy. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Five of Pentacles. Jesus. Taurian energy taurian energy whatever this battle with the devil is it's a fight they had to do on their own only they could fight their own demons and that goes for everyone guys you can only fight your own demons but i really feel a major struggle with them on this it was really hard i like i feel like this person is not used to having to really fight such battles but yeah they're not used to having to do stuff like this how about ace of pentacles in reverse I feel, I'm kind of feeling, I'm feeling for this person, guys. I'm feeling for this person. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I am feeling some financial hardship, too. Oop. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For Pisces, regarding love. From now until the 31st. Keep in mind, Pisces, if this person was involved in another relationship and you had no idea... Because, like I said, you're, you haven't been talking to them, so I don't think it's a cheating situation. Um, you could be any one of these individuals because it's energy, okay? Now we have three of pentacles in reverse. Cap I just heard get it together. Get it together. Three of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy with the world. Fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn controls Capricorn. Starting a whole new cycle to get their shit together. Get their shit in gear. Yeah, it's like this person, look at the energy they've been in. Five of pentacles with three of pentacles in reverse. This is the epitome of being alone, okay? This is the epitome of I'm down and out, out in the cold by myself, and no one's here to help me. No one's here to help me fight this devil. I have to do this on my own. It's like, that's really having no supporters. The epitome of being alone in this battle. And I heard get it together, get it together, getting their shit together, getting their shit in gear to go on a whole new cycle here. There could also be travel involved. You could be dealing with someone from another country, not necessarily. Um, but I definitely feel like it's more about opening that new cycle, trying to get out of this dark place, this toxic place of addiction, of codependency, a toxic relationship, um, self-inflicting behaviors, um, unhealthy behaviors. A little bit of that masochistic energy over energy for the ace of pentacles in reverse we have queen of swords uh libra energy could also be air or water i feel a very oh i heard studious I feel a very studious feminine energy with this actually it's interesting they gave me studious studious pisces i feel like this is you i feel like this is you coming across in your partner's reading very intuitive very intuitive intuitive excuse me i'm drawn to her third eye shine and bright as hell like that shining bright as hell <laughs> looking up at source shining even brighter yeah getting messages getting messages pisces you know this person knows you know that there's been a shift within them and like i said it's someone that a lot of you haven't thought about very much and you're starting to think about them more or for some of you where that's not resonating it could also be a, a case where it's like 
you thought of them about them a lot and then it was like no I gotta move on I gotta move on I gotta move on and you started moving on and pushing their energy out and focusing on you and things were going good and all of a sudden it's like boom it's like hit you like a brick like a brick wall like god damn it like I thought like god damn it i thought i was past that i thought i was past that you know you sense the shift in this person for those who haven't felt it yet you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel it let's look at the four of pentacles in a verse and then we'll get some advice i mean steampunk for this one talking about four of pentacles in a verse for pisces regarding love from now until the 31st talking about four of pentacles in a verse for pisces Regarding love from now until the 31st. Talking about Four of Pentacles in Reverse for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. Okay. Talking about Four of Pentacles in Reverse for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. Talking about Four of Pentacles in Reverse for Pisces. Ten of four of pentacles in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Wow. 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 Virgo energy. <sighs> letting go of the lost dreams. Letting go of the lost promises. The missed opportunities. This person had a lot of chances at a lot of great things is what I'm getting. A lot of great chances at a lot of great things with you, with other people, just with doors opening in their own life, with their own career. And letting go of the fact that they missed out on them because of their own shit, because of their own toxic behavior, because of their own demons, their own devil energy. Trying to come to terms with that. Trying to come to terms with that. Like, I think this person had a tendency to blame other people because they couldn't bear the fact that it was actually on them. I'm also hearing bad investments, bad investments, really bad investments. Um, coming to terms with that. That's a bitter pill to swallow. Coming to terms with that. Talking about the Four of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Talking about Four of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. Talking about Four of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, that's a lot. I'm not taking those. <laughs> Sorry, I was like 10 cards. No, I'm not taking 10 cards. Talking about the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, justice. Libra energy. It's almost like once this person comes to terms with everything they've missed out on because of their own actions, they're because of their own behavior, because of them and taking responsibility for that. The second that happens, it's almost like they're going to get not compensated. What's the word? That's not the right word. That's not the right word. It's almost like once they come to terms with that and get out of that toxic environment, energy, relationship, they will find the balance they're looking for. It's also this energy of accepting the fact that like, I kind of got what I deserved because of how I acted and how I treated certain situations, how I just wasted opportunities. I got what I deserved. Wow, it's a little intense, it's a little heavy, a little heavy. So I'm about four of pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Yeah, Pisces, sorry, they're bringing me back up to this overall energy here of you. This is definitely your energy with Judgment, Six of Swords. I think you definitely moved on. I think you've definitely moved on from this person. Um, a lot of you was a while ago. Because like I said, I'm like this is someone you definitely haven't been dealing with. Um, this person's realizing they got what they deserved. Can I have Four of Pentacles in reverse? For Pisces, regarding love. From now to the 31st. Yeah, so yeah, see, Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Like, I wasted all those opportunities. I did I did wrong by me. I did wrong by other people. I got what I deserved, and that's why I'm alone. Three of Pentacles in reverse. That's why I'm alone. That's why I don't have people on my side. That's why I don't have people who support me. Pushed away. You said pushed away. Overall energy. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Underneath that, we've got a King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air. Then we've got this Queen of Cups. Can't Syrian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Then we've got the freaking Emperor, man. Jesus. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy with the ace of wands in reverse. Pisces, look at this. Look at this. What was being held on to? Look at, look at all this energy. King of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is definitely your energy, Pisces, coming through. And then the Emperor here. 
with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Someone feels like they definitely missed out on some major opportunity that they had a lot of passion for. They'd have, they've had a lot of passion for you, Pisces, and they got in their own way. They got in their own way because of this devil energy, okay? Um, whether it was a toxic relationship they fell into. Oh, focus. Okay. Whether it was a toxic relationship they fell into, a toxic environment they fell into, or they just kept giving into their own addictions. They kept giving into their own self-inflicting bad behaviors here because King Cups in reverse is someone who's emotionally detached. 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 Why is that so hard to say? Emotionally detached. And they're looking at you now like, okay, yeah, you're still standing strong. You're still in a really good place. Even though they feel like they've transformed into a true emperor by coming into this acceptance, by pulling away from this double energy, they still feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you with that Ace of Wands in reverse. And look, oh my God, Six of Wands in reverse right underneath that Jupiter and Leo energy. Feeling like a failure. Feeling like I have all this fire and passion to give, but I missed my chance. I missed my chance. And they were holding on to this for a very long time, Pisces. And they're finally letting that go and just like, okay, I got what I deserved. I got what I deserved. It's very sad, actually. It's a little sad. I know, this was a heavy reading, Pisces. A little sad. A little sad. Let's get some advice here. Pisces, this, I feel like this is a case of like, the one that got away, honestly, a little bit for them, not for you. But I, I, Pisces, even though they're coming to terms with all of this, I feel like some of you are going to get approached by this person. I really do. I feel that so strongly with all this healing energy. And then with this two of wands making a choice to move away from this kind of energy and this kind of feeling, and they haven't stopped thinking about you. But, I mean, you're their overall energy, Pisces. Look, you are their overall energy. Yeah, I really feel like you guys are going to be hearing from this person. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Not to mention, we have Jesus. I just realized this. King of Cups and Queen of Cups and the Emperor and the Empress. We got some true pairs here. Strong true pairs at that. Any advice for Pisces? Regarding this spread, why is the world card screaming at me? Ah, uh, okay. My guards are like, because you need to look at it. <laughs> we'll look at the world card here. We'll look at the world card, okay? Um, and then I'll pull some advice. They're telling me to look at it. So we're going to use legacy deck for this. This is the whole new cycle that this person's trying to come into as the emperor, as the emperor and not a king of cups in reverse, trying to pull away from that energy. Play out the world. For Pisces. Turn out the world for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. Turn out the world for Pisces. Turn out the world for Pisces. Turn out the world for Pisces. Hold on here. What do we got? What do we got? Aye. Ace of Wands in reverse, Strength, Leo energy, and Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Having the strength, again, to release. Having the strength to let shit go, get out of this toxic environment, get out of this toxic relationship, letting go of the baggage of what was, right? Of being emotionally detached when they were involved with you and not really letting the past go. Finally doing that. Finally doing that. Tell me more about the world for Pisces. Tell me about the world for Pisces. Regarding love from now until the 31st. Let's see here. Oh, shit. Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the eight of wands in reverse, Sag energy. The no communication between you and them. It's been making them crazy. It's been making them crazy and they're finally trying to let that go. Finally trying to let that go. Um, let's see what else we got here, guys. Talking about the world for Pisces. Tell about the world for Pisces regarding love. Oh, oh shit, I didn't even see that come out. <laughs> judgment in reverse, fire energy, scorpionic energy, ace of cups in reverse, and the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy could also be my divine soul connection card. So basically, it's like a soulmate connection, but divinely guided. They're looking at this like the, this opportunity lost, this love lost is not fair. And it is a mistake. So while they're looking at this Pisces and looking at you like 
okay, I need to let go of the fact that there's a block here. I need to let go of the fact that, you know, the whatever happened in the past happened in the past. But they still, <laughs> they still feel entitled to it. They still feel entitled to it. Like, love lost here is wrong. That's how they're looking at it. Love lost here is wrong. Pisces might have moved on. Oh, did I just drop a card? I did. Holy shit. Hold on a second, guys. What fell here? Oh, my God. The chariot in reverse. Can't stare in energy. Okay, that happened for a reason, so I'm keeping it out here. <sighs> Pisces, this person is doing the healthy part of accepting their responsibility. Hold on, let me get some water. <clears throat> they're accepting their role in it they're accepting their role in all of this okay and because they're accepting their role in all of this it's allowed for healing to happen through way of a catalyst i definitely feel strongly they met someone that was divinely guided for them to meet so that they could actually heal and look at this and accept their role in what happened between the two of you and while they're accepting that and getting to a healthier place and becoming the emperor and not just a king with some devil issues or some devil energy or devil environment or devil relationship issues. Um, they accept their role, but they don't accept the, the lack of love. They don't accept that. They don't accept that. They'll let go of the fact that you're not down to talk to them right now. They'll let that go because they know you're at peace. They're going to drop that burden. They're dropping that burden of, okay, Pisces ain't talking to me. Pisces is at peace. I got what I deserved, right? I got what I deserved. I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that I got what I deserved, but I still deserve this, this love. That's how they're looking at it. I know. It's like, I got what I deserve because I reaped what I sow. But moving forward, no. That love is mine. Moving forward, that love is mine. Pisces, this person might jump into action mode here. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me about the world. Like karma, I like karma might have been handed to me, but that doesn't mean I can't make it work in the future. That's kind of how they're thinking. Tell me about the world for Pisces. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. What did I say? Knight of Cups. <laughs> what did I say? Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Holy shit, guys, look at this. With the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. With the King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. With the Hangman in reverse. Piscean energy with the freaking four of wands, Aries energy. They're going to be on the move, Pisces. They're going to be on the move with love in their heart, ready for this foundation, waking up and enlightened, enlightened and having that spiritual growth to the emperor because they've gotten rid of this devil energy, toxic relationship, toxic environment, toxic behavior, self-inflicting bad behavior. And they're going to communicate this to you in this new cycle that they're coming into, into this new energy, new person that they are. Like I said, it's like they've accepted all the events that have taken place so far and that everything that's happened up until this point is exactly what they've deserved because of how they've treated you, how they've treated opportunities in their life, how they've been in their life, but they've decided moving forward, no, this will not be lost. I accept the consequences I'm experiencing now, but I'm not going to lose this forever. That's how much they love you, Pisces. They accept you won't talk to them, but they're not accepting that you're lost forever. They're not accepting that. They're going to be talking to you. They're going to try to get you to talk to them. They're going to try. Okay, now let's pull some advice. <sighs> My goodness, Pisces. Save the best for last. <laughs> oh, Pisces. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any <laughs> Sorry, this was like this 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 was quite the reading. Any any advice for Pisces? Oh, regarding this spread. Any advice for Pisces? Regarding this spread. They're going to come in very dramatic. Sorry. I just have to tell you, they're going to come in very dramatic Pisces with that Knight of Swords in reverse. Very very dramatic, very direct, but pretty much saying, "Look, I've healed. I've I've grown emotionally. I've grown as a person. I've done the healthy thing now. I know I got what I deserved. But Pisces, four of wands. No, you're still mine though. Like no, I'm I'm not accepting that you're gone forever. I'm accepting that whatever's happened has happened, and I deserved it. But moving forward, I'm different now. 
So don't we deserve different? They might even say it to you like that. Don't we deserve different, Pisces? Any advice for Pisces? I knew it, man. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, I'm going to have to make two. Like, I'm going to have to stitch these videos. I just looked at the time. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Uh, turkey spirit, give with grace and gratitude. 61, breaking down to a seven. Seven's about being on your path and being divinely guided on that path. What did I say? This is a divine connection. There is divine intervention on this person to get out of that devil energy, environment, relationship, behaviors, um, and giving with grace and gratitude. This is having that composure. This is being classy, taking the high road, being sophisticated about it, right? That's the advice here, Pisces. That's the, that's the advice here. That's the advice here. And I feel like it's actually more for, mm, no, it's for both of you. It's for both of you to look at this from a, a more mature perspective of what's happening now and moving forward as opposed to what happened already. This person has grown. It's very obvious. This person has healed and grown from a lot of their old ways and old environments, old relationships, right? That toxic shit. It's a whole new game now. You're on the high road. You're not on the low road anymore, guys. You're on the high road with this person. That's what that advice is. Take the high road. Take the high road. Whatever you decide to do, Pisces, with this person, take the high road. Any advice? Keep your composure. I did just hear keep, uh, keep your composure. Some of you guys might be really irritated this person's coming back. Yeah, some of you guys might be really irritated this person's coming back. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice? For Pisces regarding this spread. Oh! Sorry, sorry, second video. My favorite card just came out. I know you guys know what it is. Oh yeah, Otter Spirit. Otter Spirit. 42, break it down to a six. You're never alone. You're never alone. Classy. I'm getting classy again. This is a matured connection now. That's the takeaway from this Pisces that Spirit wants you to be aware of. Give with grace and gratitude to someone who really does love you is not giving up on you that's very clear they accept what's happened they accept you're not talking to them right now but they don't accept moving forward that this isn't going to happen like you two aren't going to happen they're not accepting that they're not accepting that um because it's a matured connection now because this person's grown this person's got rid of that rid of their devil energy which is very clear by the cards very clear and now they're an emperor energy as you are an empress energy It's a matured connection. It's a matured connection. It's classier. It's a high road connection now. Any other advice for Pisces? <laughs> Pisces, I can feel your irritation with all of this. Surrender now. Moth spirit, 39, breaking down to a three. Pisces, this is just advice from spirit. You're the masters, you're the masters of your own life. You're going to do whatever you want to do. Um, I don't need to hear those comments or see those comments about, I'm not taking that motherfucker back. If you don't want them, you don't want them. This is just an opportunity. It's just an opportunity, but it's very clear about surrendering to it because it's matured. It's changed. This person has a lot more gratitude for you now because they're not bogged down by this devil energy, whether it's their own behaviors, their own addictions, their own self-inflicting bad behaviors, toxic environments or toxic relationships. They're different now. They're different. And the advice here is to surrender to it. Surrender to it. And it's funny because over energy, we have vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. I'm getting lessons here, actually. It's like no, like no more missing opportunities. That's, that's for this person. That's for this emperor. Nothing is wasted. There's no point in wasting any opportunity moving forward. That's this, that's this new perspective on this person. It's first basically telling you, Pisces, to surrender to the fact that that might be true. I think some of you don't want to believe that. And that's okay. I get it. I totally get it. Again, masters of your own life. Make your own decisions here. This is just a general reading for thousands of people. But Spirit, Spirit's basically saying this person's not wasting any more opportunities anymore because they've learned that lesson the hard way many times over. Clearly. Clearly. And to surrender to the fact that this is a grown connection. This is a matured connection. This is for adults. This is for true adults. This is adulting time. Pisces, decide what you want to do with this, but that is the advice from Spirit, okay? 
Pisces. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Ooh, frog in my throat. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.